Hey everyone, today I want to show off my uh, vintage dehumidifier. It is a Emerson Quiet Cool with Frost Century 44 quart uh, capacity. Um, model information. If you can see that. Let's see. Model number, oh, it's going out of focus on me. DE44F-A. And this was manufactured in April of 1987 according to the internet. Uh, searched by the serial number. So I've had this for many, many years. Um, and I'm actually looking to replace this because it wasn't working uh, as well as I was expecting it to uh, the past few years and it's costing me a lot of money to run so I actually hooked up a running a test here so I ran it for 24 hours based on this meter it's costing me forty one dollars a month to run it peaked at a thousand watts and it was running I think around 600, 500, 600 um, just normal normal running uh, it's a fairly quiet unit turn it on So with my test, I ran it for 24 hours at uh, uh, max uh, max uh, humidistat, and I collected a bucket of water. It's about maybe a little more than half full. It's basically up to the just about up to the notches there. So this is how I've been running it for years and years, and I figure it probably needs to be cleaned. So I'm actually going to take it apart, clean it, and do another 24 hour test um, and see how it fares after that. Uh, and then I'm going to compare it to a new unit that I purchased. I pur purchased a Frigidaire uh, 70 quart capacity um, and we're going to see how it fares once that shows up. Alright, so I've taken the unit apart to clean it and uh, turns out it is actually pretty clean inside so there's the one there's the other on the back side this is clean this one's got a little bit of dust but I don't think it's quite enough to uh, really affect the efficiency that badly what I did find is lots and lots of rust on the compressor. So I don't think I'm going to bother trying to save this. I was going to potentially keep it as a backup but uh, I'm going to see how it, uh, the new unit compares when it arrives and uh, if it runs significantly uh, better than this one did I think I'm just going to put this at the side of the road and hope someone takes it alright so I got the new dehumidifier set up put it on a nice new sturdy shelf and I made some plastic uh, shelves on for the top to make it uh, a little sturdier for the wheels here. Here are the stats on the power meter. Running about 
30, averaging $37 a month to run. Peaked at 817 watts. Currently running at about 530 watts. And this is how much water we collected over the past 24 hours. It's just about to crest the top. So, funny thing about the old unit is it probably was running about uh, its rated 44 uh, um, pint uh, capacity. Um, so, that's actually kind of impressive for the old unit that it still was doing that well after 30 years. So, here's why I figured I needed a new unit. Um, I got central air put in last year and uh, it was just condensing all over the metal ductwork um, from the humidity. Um, in addition to that, I have a leak detector set up and it shows humidity readings for the basement. Um, this is running the normal dehumidifier. This spike here is where my water heater started leaking and I ran the old dehumidifier up until about that peak right there. Now, ever since then, where it's been dropping off is where the new dehumidifier has been running. And as you can see, it is lower now, just running that new dehumidifier for about a day or two, um, that it's lower than it's ever been running the old dehumidifier. So it's definitely working. So I really like this unit so far. So I've been running the new unit for a little over a week and I thought I'd do a bit of a follow up here. I put a uh, new uh, drain hose to drain into the sink here. I uh, ended up taking the old de dehumidifier apart and kept things like the fan and the humidistat. Um, I, put the, I did put the old carcass out at the road and uh, someone took it, I'm sure, for scrap. Um, but the one thing I really wanted to show everyone is that the humidity has pretty much stabilized from the looks of things at about 50 percent and with the old dehumidifier it was uh, didn't any ever get any lower than 60 65 percent so that means this new unit's working pretty well uh, one other thing I'll quickly show you is I do have the uh, leak detector is down here next to my hot water heater so that's where these readings are coming from so it is close to the floor um, but uh, yeah overall I'm really happy with this new dehumidifier so thanks for watching everyone